number one, another day and another day to learn. I am Faith Maxine. And I am Ken. And we are from Oxymacy. So Ken, what is polarity? Polarity refers to the distribution of electric charge within the molecule or compound. The polarity has a certain relation with the electronegativity. And did you know an American chemist, Linus Pauling, developed a scale of electronegativity to describe the attraction an element has for electrons in a chemical bond? To discover the polarity, we need to find the difference of the electronegativity of the molecule. For further understanding, let's have Miss Honey to give you an example. Hello guys! I am here to give you an example for further understanding about polarity. So we have CO2. The electronegativity difference of carbon and oxygen is 1. So basically, we can assume it's polar but we don't stop there. We will continue to the next step which is analyzing the Lewis structure which will be discussed by Christian. Hello young fellas. I hope you are willing to learn how to determine polarity using Lewis structure. So our central atom is carbon, surrounded by two oxygen. Since the octet rule isn't satisfied, we can add another bond. And as you can see, the central atom doesn't have a lone pair. So we can conclude that carbon dioxide is non-polar. But wait, we can't have an experiment without an objective, right? So our objective for this experiment is to understand how properties of molecule being due to polarity works in a larger scale. So aside from objectives, we can also do an experiment without the materials. So here are the materials. We have 4 glasses of water and 4 tablespoons of steering. And we have salt, oil, sugar, and nail polish. And lastly, we have paper and permanent marker. Thank you for letting our learners know what materials to use. Now let's do the experiment. Now, let's mix the oil, salt, sugar, and nail polish in each glass of water. On your paper, draw this table. Let's mix them using tablespoon. So the first question is Which sample of molecules did not dissolve in the water? Well, as you can see from the experiment, oil and nail polish didn't dissolve along with the water since oil and nail polish are both non-polar which doesn't mix with water since it's polar. So the second question is which sample of molecules dissolve in the water? Well, for the expert, from the experiment, both sugar and salt did dissolve along with the water since salt and uh, sugar have a slight sucrose polarity that mixes with water. Therefore, it created a homogeneous mixture. Now with the third and the last question, which is, if water is polar, what is the polarity of the molecules that didn't dissolve in the water? If water is polar, what is the polarity of the molecules that dissolve in the water? Well, if water is polar, it would only mix with another polar molecules. But what if water is being a polar one is mixed with another non-polar? The result would actually not mix since this phenomena is called immiscible where two molecules with different polarities won't mix. So that concludes for our little experiment on polarities at work.